You want to learn how to cut layers in your wig so it can frame your face like this? You damn skippy. Well, I'm about to show you how. Let's, Let's go, go. sis. Okay, from the top of the mannequin head, you're going to part it in a triangle. All right, so you're going to section it off. Make sure you put it to the side because it's going to be your bang area. All right, so on the side, you're going to start from the top, straight down behind the ear, and you're going to put that away. Make sure you clip it real nice so it can be nice and neat. All right, turn it around. You're going to part it from ear to ear in the back. Make sure you section it off real nice and neat. And that's how you section the hair before you start your haircut. Oh, that look like Bantu knots. I might just wear it like that. <laughs> or you can wear it like that. It's up to you. Okay. All right. On the bang area, you're going to part it from the top down. You're going to take your first piece and you're going to cut your layers so it can fall where you want it for your bang area. Hold it straight out in a 90 degree angle and cut it straight up and down. It's not going to look choppy, is it? No, it's not going to look choppy when you finish because that's why we're going to over direct it in a 90 degree angle and everything's going to be pulled to the front. Like what you see on the side right here, I took another slice and I over directed it to the middle so everything could be nice and seamless. Then I'm going to show you a trick later on and show you how to make the back nice and feathery. Oh, okay, because I don't want my wig to be looking like it's chopped and screwed. <laughs> All right, so after you're done with that side, you're going to take the other side and do the same thing. You're going to over direct it to the middle. And you're going to cut it straight up and down. I'm nervous. I ain't ever cut a wig before. What if I mess up? You need to give me a tip or something. Okay, here's a tip. When you hold the hair out, you see how you can use a short piece that you just previously cut as a guideline. Cut it straight up and down. It's going to always show you where to cut if you always follow the shortest piece. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Then on the side, you're going to part it in a diagonal, not straight up and down. And you're going to match it to the front straight out. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Then you're going to connect the bang area to the side straight down to give it that feather look. This is what they call framing your face. Oh, like the frames on my glasses? <laughs> Something like that. Don't forget to use the guide from the bang for the side. Okay, again, part it diagonal and cut it straight out. Oh, yeah, and when you part in your sections, make sure you part it semi-small because you don't want, you know, your sections to be too big to cut. Okay, say something now because you must knew I was about to try to cut the whole thing all big and fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, once again, you're going to over direct the back to the side and you're going to snip off. Make sure you use the guidelines. Okay, after you're done with the side, you're going to comb it down, straight down, and you're going to carve out and frame from your bang area to your side. This is going to give you the feathery look. Okay. This is one of the most important steps in the haircut because around your face, people are going to see that more and you don't want it to be choppy and you want it to be even on both sides. This part is a little tedious, so I'm going to shut up so you can look and learn. Yeah, girl, I need to concentrate. Oh, okay, you did good. All right, so I'll do the same thing to the other side. After you take it down... Remember, like I said, do not make your sections up and down. That's a no-no. That's going to leave it really choppy. So sideways in the diagonal because your head is curvy. Your head is not a square. So we're going to play off the fact that our head is round. All right. That's why you got to party in diagonal sections. If you see a V shape, that's what you want. And if you want to cross check your work, part it straight up and down and take the point off. That's like what I tell my daughter to cross check her homework. Exactly. Now, when you cross checking it, you can part it straight up and down this time. So you can see any areas that you miss or any long areas you need to cut off. I'm using the point cut technique right here. So your ends won't look choppy. You remember at the beginning of the video, I said, I'm going to show you like a little trick you can do. So your ends won't look choppy. This is the trick. All right, you're going to section it off up and down this time. We cross checking it. All right, so you see the little point right here. You're going to point cut it straight up and down so you can give it that soft look. Don't forget to drag the scissors up as you point cutting it so you won't leave little chops or holes in it. Oh, okay, I see what you did. Yeah, you see what I did? Now it's nice and smooth, it's not choppy, it's soft and feathery. All right, so now time for the back. You're going to over direct. Once again, take a slice 
up and down. You can do it up and down this time. And then you're going to take off the excess length on the end. Just follow along the V cut. It's going to be like a V cut on the end. And then you're going to just keep going down as you make your slices. And as you over direct. And as you use the smallest area in the front as a guideline. So you won't lose your place. All right, see that? I'm on the other side now, and I'm almost done with the back. So I'll comb it out. Make sure you over direct. Bing. All right. So after you do that, you're gonna comb it down. Make sure everything is nice and even. Snip off the long areas. Clean up the bottom. Oh, that is a V cut. I'm so proud of myself. I can't wait to see how it's gonna look when I'm done. Yeah, you're doing good. Now. Time for the top slash middle part. Okay, like I said, you're gonna take the bang area, use that as a guide for the top. You're gonna pull the top straight up and you're gonna point cut it. You don't wanna cut it straight across cause you don't want it to be real blunt and choppy looking. So, all right, take your little slices, match it with the shortest layer at the front, straight up and down. You don't have to over direct to the side or anything, just straight up and down, point cut it, and you won't miss a beat. All right, so finish that section on out. Uh huh. Oh yeah, let me give you a tip. When you go around the head, even though you part in the section straight up and down, make sure you follow along the curvature of the head. Huh? All right, you see how when I'm going around the head, it's straight up and down, but it's still in the same area of that section, if that makes sense. Go around the head and not just have it just straight up and down for the whole section. Oh, okay, girl. Don't be using no big words. I ain't know what you was talking about. Girl, girl. <laughs> All right. Now, when you connect the middle to the back, you're going to point cut it how I showed you earlier. All right. So you see how it's like a short piece on each side. That you cut from the bottom, see how that fell right there? You don't have you do not need to cut that section again. Just cut the hair that's long in between those two short pieces, point cut it, and then do the same cross checking technique around the other areas. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet again so you can concentrate. All right, you almost done, but I'm gonna give you a tip. When you're cross-checking it and when you do your sections, make sure you section it from the top of the head on down to whatever section you at and go around the curvature of the head. All right, it should look like this when you finish. Follow me for more DIY black hair tips and eyebrow tips for more. And I will. Thank you, girl.